Hey guys, welcome back. This is Anya. I always got many questions from customers that they ask, Hey Anya, for the 3.7 valve ternary lithium battery and for the 3.2 valve lithium phosphate battery, which one will be better? Actually, this question is a little bit hard to answer because in today's energies and uh, automotive field, 3.7 valve NMC ternary lithium battery and uh, 3.2 valve lithium phosphate batteries are two mainstream lithium battery types in the market, each with its own unique advantages, playing an important roles in different applications. 3.7 valve NMC ternary lithium battery and the 3.2 valve lithium phosphate battery have its own advantage and disadvantage. And the choice must be based on the specific needs. For the 3.7 valve NMC ternary lithium battery, are suitable for the application led to pursue the high endurance for fast charging and the low temperature performance, while the lithium ion phosphate battery perform better in safety, uh, cost, cycle life, and the environmental protection. So today's video, I'd like to bring the seven points of the difference between the between the ternary lithium battery and the lithium phosphate batteries to see the difference between each of the battery and what's the advantage and the disadvantage. The first point is the energy density. For the energy density, the ternary battery is more better than the lithium ion phosphate battery. The ternary energy, the ternary battery and energy density can reach for the 200 watt hour per kilogram to the 300 watt hour per kilogram, uh, which can suitable for the high range electric vehicle such as the high-end models with a range of more than 700 kilometers. And the lithium-ion phosphate battery the energy density is about 120 to 180 watt hour per kilogram. The second point is about the safety. The lithium iron phosphate battery, the thermal decomposition temperature is about 700 degrees, uh, which is past all safety tests such as the needle puncture, overcharging, and the risk of thermal runaway is extremely lower. And for the ternary lithium battery, the thermal decomposition is only 200 to 300 degree, which means the, if it meets the high temperature problems, it will catch fire and explosion. And the third is the cycle life. For the lithium iron phosphate cell, the battery, the cycle life can reach 3,000 to even 10,000 above the cycle life, which is which is more suitable for the solar energy storage and the commercial vehicle. But the ternary lithium battery, the cycle life is only 1,000 to 2,500 2, cycle lives. For some high-end battery, the cycle life is 2,000 around. The fourth is the lower temperature performance. The ternary lithium battery, which can work at the minor to 20 degree capacity remain rate is more than 70%, which is more better than the lithium iron phosphate battery. The fifth is about the environmental protection. The lithium iron phosphate battery does not contain heavy metal metals such as the nickel or cobalt 
more environmentally friendly and lower recycle cost. Sixth point is about the consistency. Which one is better? The ternary NMC battery is more better than the lithium iron phosphate battery. So after long time use, the ternary NMC battery will be better than the um, than, than the lithium iron phosphate battery. This is the sixth point about the consistency. The final point is about the cost. I believe you guys will take the cost into the consideration in most of your important point when you make a final decision. Lithium iron phosphate battery is cost effective than the ternary lithium ion battery due to the raw material. The ternary lithium ion battery contains the heavy uh, contains the heavy metal points like the nickel, cobalt, magnet, or others, which will cost expensive than the lithium iron phosphate cell. In a summary, ternary lithium ion batteries and lithium iron phosphate battery have their own advantages and disadvantages in terms of the performance, safety, cost, and environmental protection. When choosing a battery type, it is necessary to make a comparative consideration based on the specific application and needs. If you pursue high energy density, long cycle life, and fast charging and discharge, and use it for low temperature environment, tannery lithium battery are more suitable. If you focus on the safety, cost, and the cycle life, and do not have high requirement for your energy density or lower temperature performance, lithium iron phosphate battery have more advantages. By the reasonably selecting the battery type, its advantage can be further utilized to meet the needs of the different fields. Above is a very simple look comparison about the lithium battery and the lithium phosphate battery for you guys to reference so if you are looking for others like the uh, the safety of the lithium iron phosphate cell or others you can leave us message and maybe in this video i will show you guys about the details okay thank you for you guys watching the video and see you in this video bye